Hi, this is Tim. Today we're going to go through how to download a program from Rockwell Automation Studio 5000 to an Allen Bradley Compact Logix PLC. Please take a moment to hit that like button and subscribe to our channel. We put out at least one automation video a week. In our previous video, we showed you how to configure RS links for communications with your PLC through either Ethernet or through the USB on the front of it. And I'll put a link to those videos down in the description. We're going to do our download over Ethernet, but it'll be exactly the same if you go over the USB port. And we're going to open up our default program that we send with our PLCs when you buy our trainers. There's several different ways to download your program, but the way I like to go that will always get you there is go to Communications and then Who Active because it's gonna give you all of your options. You can go online, you can upload, download, update firmware, or you can simply set your path for a later time. Now one important thing, if you haven't seen some of my other lessons, is make sure that you understand the upload and download terms because they are opposite of the internet. So we're gonna download our offline program that we just opened up on our PC to this PLC. You upload from your PLC to your PC. But we're gonna go to our Ethernet IP, and there is our PLC. And like I said, if you don't see your PLC there, look in the description. We've got a video to help you out on that. And then we're gonna click the download button. And then since this is a brand new PLC out of the box, we're gonna see this dialog that says that the firmware that's in our Studio 5000 program doesn't match the firmware of this PLC. And right here, the controller firmware, or what's in here is 1.005, which is pretty much what they are brand new out of the box. And we're running version 32 over here. So first we're gonna need to update our firmware. So click your update firmware button. And then it should already have selected what you need based off the program you had open. Click update, and then it's gonna give you some warnings that are very important that you read, especially if you're working on a live system. We're gonna proceed with our firmware update. Now guys, if there's ever a time to be patient, one, make sure your laptop's plugged in that you have power. Also make sure that the electricians aren't maybe doing things that they may kill the power while you're trying to do this if you're commissioning the system. I mean, this is one time. You don't want any power failures. You don't want any breaks in your communication. And yeah, you don't want your laptop battery to go dead. Then it's gonna give us a warning about the SD card. Continue. Our firmware update is done, so now we're gonna click the download button. Download complete with no errors or warnings. All right, so one final step to get your PLC in operation is to switch it to remote run mode. You can do that by the controller status prompt right here. You can switch to run mode, or you can go up here under communications and go to run mode. It's gonna verify you wanna change to run mode, yes. And we are now in run mode. And that's all there is to download a program to your PLC. Hi, this is Tim. And this is Amber of TW Controls. We run the automation store. Hey, thanks for finding our channel. Here's a playlist with some similar videos. And YouTube thinks you'll like this video. Please like our video and subscribe to our channel. And if our videos have helped you make some money and you're not using our products, please consider supporting us on Patreon. Till next time. See ya.